Morning Kings, proud to present Feed Me Fridays. Guys, I got it this morning. I got us. You want some breakfast, Joe, sir? Okay. Jay? Did we, did we bless the table already? Because I, I, got, I got to admit, one thing I love about Kings is the toast. I don't yep. know what it is about yeah. the toast. Toast is ooh. it's lightly buttered. I don't mm. believe it's like regular Pullman bread, but I don't know what it is, but it's so good. So and they give you like eight pieces. I mean, that's the, the toast is like a meal unto itself. I've I've been snacking on the toast. They they yeah. brought the food by about the toast is like the lumpia of King's breakfast. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm guilty of that. I don't know how many times I've like stolen lumpia <laughs> before the table opened. <laughs> guilty. guilty. Okay, wait. L- let me let me ask you something about because. Uh, Kiko's coming on. I think he's uh he's getting connected with his camera. Yeah. He might be eating his toast. Dude. Right, right, yeah. Okay, how good is your Chamorro Fiesta Engineering, right, Chris? Because when when you when you go up and make a plate, right? Yeah. Do you always make sure to get like you know just enough of of the dinner rolls or the pandelecci and make sure you position it just so so that the juice from from the pickled cucumber doesn't bleed over and, and get into the velvet cake? I just had a visual of the juice from the cucumber leaking over. First of all, you get the velvet cake and the cucumber at different times. I'm a, I'm a one pass. Second guy. of all, Jay, do you know that there's a whole like culture and science to setting the table for the fiesta? There is. It's like you put your starches here, and then you get your meats, then you have your salads. So yeah, there's a whole way. To like set the table, which I only know because one time I had a gathering and I was like, "Oh, the table's set." And then one of my auntie, my late auntie Jeannie, was like, "The table is set, Humphin, and the table is set, boy. You got your rice over here. You got this man salapun everywhere." Uh, so yeah, there's a whole science, Jay. To do you put the fried chicken before the pot roast, or uh, the meats or go the ste- somewhere? The steamboat, as I call it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Where's Frank? Um, he's having some audio connection issues, but um. But He's I guess, finishing his toast. Yeah, I guess what we what we can tell you because yeah. when Frank comes in, I mean, who Glenn, knows better than Glenn, uh, Jay, who Glenn knows, he commented, oh, yes. "You take the bread at the very last, Jason Solis on your, your Fiesta plate." But there is a Wait, whole. You take like, the very last, or you make two passes, or you, or you use multiple plates. I, I last, put everything yeah. on one plate. Yeah. I load up because usually the bread is near the front. Sometimes. Usually, because you know you get you get your, your red rice or tatizas, your bread or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, but there's a whole science as well to how to stack the plate, right? And the real pros can stack three trips to the Fiesta table on one single plate. Like my Uncle Tom. My mom's brother, my Uncle Tom, man, that guy can stack, 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 stack. Stacks and stacks. I mean, it's like a, yeah, there's layers. There's levels to this, okay? <laughs> it's like he's got the... Bottom is like the rice, and then you the pants it over here, and then you put another layer with your, your roast pig. It's, yeah. And, of course, you wash it down with uh, Diet Pepsi. No, but see, like, and, and I would take, like, the finadeni, and I would let the finadeni even, like, you know, drizzle over yeah. the meat. Okay, I'm way different. I go section. So, first, I like to start with the red rice and the hog and suni and the fried chicken and the potato salad. And then I'll go back for, like, the kudus or the, the salads, you know, whether it's, like, potato salad, crab salad. Because I swear on Guam, we have the most unhealthy salads. <laughs> like, we'd be calling stuff that's a salad that's not, no business being called. Crab salad, that is should not a salad. Way unhealthy. Um, Yeah, so anyway, Kings, uh, I think we're having some issues with Frank yeah. getting in. But, but I mean, what we're ahead. talking about today, everybody knows. Yeah. And, you know, we, we certainly are experts in this. So today we have, let's do the unboxing now. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. Boom. The world famous Country Browns. This is Kings. something, it's a Kings exclusive. It's a dish that only they have. Uh, it's an awesome dish, Jay. You got your, speaking of starch, you've got your starch, you got your protein. This is the way you want to start your day. Oh, yeah. And possibly end your night. Yeah, either way. <laughs> I mean, I know you can either have this for breakfast at 4 a.m. or <laughs> to end your night at 4 a.m. So, this puts you out. So you've got two sunny side up eggs, as Joseph is capturing right yeah. there. A, a hearty, healthy, generous um, portion of Chamorro sausage. Yeah, a portion. Yeah, mm. that's. Saying it lightly, and then and then you've got rice underneath. What I like to do is I like to take the plastic fork, 
instead of the knife and just cut into the sunny side up egg and just let the yolk yep. kind of just get go that all yolkano. Over. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there's the gravy. Lift that egg up, Jay. Get that egg. Let's lift okay. that egg up and show us under that. Show us your underside. Yeah, you want to you mm. see how my, my egg looks, right? I want a peekaboo under your eggs. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm. You're bothering me the way you broke those eggs, Jay. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies to the mother hen who is the right. offspring I'm now right. like spreading around on the rice. And then we have Kiko now. Kiko, good morning. Yeah. Or no, his audio still. Oh. Yeah, his audio's okay. Yeah. Well, we can see you, Kiko. It's absolutely great. This is one of our favorites. Uh, and there you go, Jay. He's getting the mix. He's breaking the yolk into the gravy. And then you know what's going to happen is that that hot rice, because it's the only kind of rice they serve at Kings, is going to kind of cook that up a little bit. Frank, I think we have you now. Good morning. Gotcha. There you are. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Jason. Good morning. It it doesn't. How we doing? Yeah, we're doing good. We kind of want to get this over with so we can go eat. I got like a good long commercial break to play. Um, feed me Fridays with our buddy Kings Kiko over there at uh, Kings in Hutman. Uh, this is classic, uh, Kiko. This is a dish that's. Really, I mean, kind of exemplifies what King's is about. Good comfort food. This is an original dish. You only get it at King's. How long have you guys had this, and who thought of it? You know, uh, it was one of the old managers that uh, came out with the idea. We had it for about 20 years, if I'm not mistaken. And um, the country bounds, it attracts the older and the younger so we've been, uh, it's one of our uh, breakfast um, high point dishes. It's a fast mover, very popular. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure the dish is a fast mover. Yeah, but, I know after I eat this, I'm, I'm considerably <laughs> slowing down. You took the words right out of my mouth. Jay. <laughs> but Frank, do you, do you guys, I can't, sorry, I'm just jamming on the toast. Yeah, I yeah, apologize. Yeah. Yeah. What's um, up with the toast, uh, Frank? We want to know about the toast real quick. It's so good. Oh, the toast? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's part of the meal. It's, it comes with uh, the country browns dish. Uh, it's a set meal. Yeah. So you're are you the one that's baking the bread over there, Frank? Uh, we get bread from uh, another vendor. They provide us. Uh, well, uh, we get our bread from uh, Grand Bakery. Yeah, well, I don't know if there's MSG in your toaster or something, because the way you guys do up this toast, man, it is just like, oh, so good. And you get it down in that country brown gravy? Yep. Ooh, you know what I like, though, man? Hack, guys, you want to get a malfunction oh, hack? Life hack. Okay, order a hash brown with this sucker. Ooh. The more carbs, the merrier. Now, Frank, Frank, do you guys actually consider this dish to be, is is it on the breakfast menu, lunch, or dinner? Because, I mean, I've I've eaten the country browns, you know, all times of the day. And it's never, you know, like I feel out of place. Well, the country browns is uh, in our main menu, so you can get it anytime you want, nighttime, morning, dinner, lunch. Everything a growing so, boy uh, needs. <laughs> Pro protein and starch. Oh, man, carbs. Yeah. You know, my friends and I actually, before we would play like in a, a sports tournament or something like that, uh, we would go to Kings and we would, you know, do the carbo load thing and country Browns would be like one of the things. Cause I mean, you have the night that the night before you have fuel to last you like the next day. I mean, you're playing sports, get that the night before. And you know, you've got, you've got a full tank right on. And this has got, again, like we said, it's kind of got a little bit of everything. You got your Tremora sausage in there. Of course the rice, right? I mean, the time to eat this guys, if you're worried about your waistline or whatever, I mean, don't though. Have it in the morning, you know, so this can power you through the day. And you burn it off by the time uh, you get off work and then order another one for dinner. Frank's like, yep. So yeah. speaking of the MSG, uh, Chris, uh, we don't do MSG. I know. Uh, yeah. They don't, guys. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> we don't put MSG in the bread, too. <laughs> Thank you. I know. And I know you don't use MSG. That was a joke, Frank. But, uh, yeah, these guys are able to, to do these deep flavors comfort foods, the good old-fashioned way, right? Yes, sir. 
I appreciate that, man, because when I have any MSG, dude, I get the hives, I get the, you know, all the work. So uh, this is great. Uh, Frank, I know that we're focusing on the country grounds here, which is, I mean, again, this is a slam dunk. I'm getting my messages are, are blowing up. Um, <laughs> they're saying, Chris, share your breakfast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Frank, what you're else? Hearing, you... You're hearing from friends you haven't heard from in years. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. That's what happened to you. I haven't even. <laughs> you're right, Jay. Uh, Frank, what else you guys got cooking that's on uh, something people want to try from Kings today? Well, today we're doing um, our lunch specials. We can have the we can have the tomorrow bistec, uh, beef stew. That's what we're doing for lunch, and then it's all uh, it's all homemade. It's all made from scratch, so you can come by and try it. Both locations, Kings Dead and Kings Morning. We're open twenty four hours. That's it. I, you had me at bistake. Yep. You know, there you go. Let it, let it let it soak and then let me add it. Yep. Give Jason extra peas. <laughs> Frank, thank you so much. I got to play this break and we got to uh, do some important stuff behind the scenes. <laughs> thank you, Chris. Thank you, Jason. All right, you guys go get you tag. They got buddy. bistake, of course, country grounds. That's what we're featuring today. It's feed me Fridays with Kings. Kiko, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Esta. There you go. 837. Quick break. And we're coming back with the Chief Public Health Officer for the island of Guahan, Chima Mbakwem from Public Health. Next on The Link. KUAM's multi-platform morning show, The Link, just got a little more delicious with Feed Me Fridays. Chris, Sabrina, Jason, and the rest of the morning crew will take some time each Friday to talk food, taste food, and bring you all the latest and greatest in food from King's Restaurants and Ruby Tuesday Guam. Old faves, new hits, and everything on the menu in between. It's Feed Me Fridays on The Link. Family platter of fried chicken. Check. Tray of red rice. Check. Birthday cake. Check. One case of water. Check. 12 pack of beer. Check. Two cases of Pepsi. Check. When you have a long checklist but are short on time, we got you. Get it delivered by us. Order on the app or website at uno-go.com.